guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is Kamanika and my channel is all about my lifestyle weight loss and things like that if you enjoy that type of content I hope that you will subscribe so y'all yeah, welcome back to the channel so this is a vlog and I have been vlogging for y'all already um I am about to go into the office I just have on this black dress I want to show y'all in the mirror but I am about to go into the office, so I wanted to just throw on a little bit of makeup. This is not, of course, a makeup tutorial, so I just wanted to really chit-chat with y'all. I know that behind me might look a mess, but y'all, actually, this room is still pretty clean. Um, I have a box for a desk I need to put up, and then this rug. I'm going to do something else with that rug. I think I'm going to put it in the closet. Um, and then, of course, the clothes. I need to get rid of the clothes. But other than that, this room is pretty clean. Um, so y'all, I kind of, um, had like a little flashback to the reason why I left YouTube to, um, for about a year, um, several months ago. And I, it, I guess I kind of got upset about it and I was just thinking, right? So I just wanted to, I'm not going to complain too tough and, you know, whatever, whatever. I just kind of want y'all opinion about what y'all think the direction, sh my direction should be. So really quick, again, I don't want to linger too much on this, but really quick. Um, so the main reason, well, I won't say the main reason, but um, YouTube can get, so YouTube can get very discouraging, right? So I have been stuck at about 53,000 subscribers for probably seven to 10 years, believe it or not, y'all. I'm not exaggerating. You can look it up. Um, and so YouTube just, I guess, like 10 years ago, they really just stopped pushing my content, period. Like, I don't get really too many um, new people unless I, like, make a crazy exaggerated title on my video kind of clickbaitish, and then I might get maybe five to 10 new subscribers and then they kind of wither off, you know? So my channel hasn't really grown. When I first started YouTube, y'all, YouTube was not, um, you didn't really make, um, I know I'm completely out the frame again. It's not a tutorial, y'all, sorry. But um, uh, when I first started YouTube, YouTube, you didn't even make money. Like I've been on YouTube that long, right? Baby, I ain't put on nothing but a little bit of line, and I couldn't even talk through that. Let me water my water line. I'll be right back with y'all. So when I first started YouTube, y'all, it was truly about, like, making a difference, like, showing other people my journey. I was, like, 400 and, what it was, 493 pounds, 487 pounds. So it really was all about me sharing my journey um, hoping that I make some type of impact in other people's lives. Um, and then of course, after, I want to say a couple of years, um, I, I became a partner and I probably got like, since then I probably had a couple of hundred dollar checks here and there. Um, so it's never been about the money, but at this point, y'all, it's like, for me, I'm just like, I don't think that my journey really matters at this point. And what I mean, or I don't think I'm impacting anyone. Um, when I say that, I will say that um, most of y'all, I want to say 90% of y'all have been rocking with me for more than seven to 10 years. And I freaking kid y'all not. Most of y'all have been on this channel for seven to 10 years. Most of y'all know me. Y'all know my journey and there's pretty much not much new from me outside of y'all showing, outside of me showing y'all my struggles, right? Or outside of me showing y'all my accomplishments and just my life. And so many of y'all have stuck around and have been enjoying the content and I love, I love y'all so much for that. Y'all, it brings tears to my eyes so I'm not even gonna but my point is, is that most of y'all have been with me for a very long time. Y'all have been rocking with me 
um, for a very long time. At this point, I feel like, you know, so many of y'all have reached y'all goals and y'all journeys or y'all know how to reach y'all goals. And I feel like a lot of y'all don't need motivation, right? And the fact that my um, channel hasn't grown, honestly, y'all, I feel like like most of my subbies, I kind of know y'all by y'all screen name. Y'all comment all the time. And, I, you know, I was making a joke with someone the other day. And I was saying, man, my core audience have been there so long. I'm surprised that they don't know each other because they, you know, the same people comment. The same people have been rocking with me for so long. I actually need to do a meet and greet or something so that we can all just meet each other. But anyway. So I was just saying, you know, I don't really think that um, my weight loss journey is making a difference in anyone's life at this point. Um, I, I, And this is kind of how I felt when I took the little hiatus that I took away from YouTube. Um, it had to, a lot to do with the fact that it doesn't really matter if I post a one minute video, a one two minute video, a 50 minute video or whatever. YouTube does not push my content. And when I say YouTube does not push my content, y'all, I've done things like I've took other plus size YouTubers um, like a video, right? And I, I did similar content. As far as vlogs, of course, our vlogs is different because we're different people. But I did similar content in the in this particular vlog because I just kind of wanted to see, right? And I did I did um a couple of times, like I did it two or three times. I did similar content and I did similar titles, and I'm not gonna go into who you know who I was like trying to mimic at that moment. I'm just gonna say if you've been subscribed to both of us, you probably know, and you probably know those two videos. And the reason I, I did that is because I kind of wanted to test the algorithm. I wanted to see, like, is it me that's not motivating that people don't want to watch? Or is it YouTube? And I actually think that it is, in fact, YouTube. And I don't know if it's because I've been here for so long um, on YouTube that they just don't push my content anymore. I don't know. But I'm just kind of discouraged because I'm just like, um, I don't know if my channel is making an impact. And as y'all know, I don't really get, I don't get paid from YouTube for real, for real. I don't get paid. So it's just kind of emotional to me because I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just like, my audience know me and they know I know how to lose weight. And, um, do they want to see me? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> the kicker about a topic like this, y'all, I, I try to kind of shy away from it because I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm not appreciative of every single five, six, seven hundred of y'all that click on every single video, right? But it does come a point where I'm just like, these people love me. And they're going to support me, right? But am I making a difference for them? You know what I mean? This The crap is emotional. It gets me in my feelings thinking about it. So what it boils down to is like, I'm thinking I'm not really making a difference in any of my subscribers' lives, any of their lives. Is that the reason why YouTube is not pushing me? Because I'm not really making a difference. I'm not saying anything. Like, I think that's what it boils down to. So... I don't know. I just want to, um, at the end of the day, y'all, your girl just needs some encouraging words. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. I just, I just need to know that I'm making some type of impact in at least one of y'all lives at this point. So that's what it boils down to. It's 9.37 a.m. All right, y'all, that's all the makeup I'm going to do. I'm not doing too much. This is Red Beauty. And I just have on this really long, flowy, big dress. And I just squirt my Red Beauty all over. And then today, on top of that, I guess I'm going to do some... 
Um, I guess I will do, um, I don't know what this is in here. This is probably Dior. So this is like the little, y'all know they come in like 10 packs of samples. These are the sample sizes, but also in the pack, they normally give you a sample size holder so that you can like travel with it or whatever. So that's what this is. And like when I'm traveling, I'll take it with me. That's why it's dirty. <laughs> All right. When I tell y'all I was jamming, okay? So I was listening to Willow, wait a minute. Um, and I guess my car, my car is, does not allow me to do FaceTime. It does not allow me to record myself. It don't allow me to do nothing half the time. I think though, because I was on Apple play and whatever, but anyway, the topic I was just talking about at the beginning of this video, I'm going to touch on it again. So save your comment for now, please. Cause I kind of know where some of y'all are going to say, um, but anyway, let's go. I'm on my way to work y'all. <laughs> So, we had a whole we'll car chit chat and all the footage is just see. muted. I don't know what happened. I had some meetings and this is my little desk. Just a couple of things I bring in to work um, or that have at my desk. Not much at all because I only go in twice a week. Um, so, yeah, after I left work, I went to Sunflower and I'm going to do a short about this restaurant, y'all, because this is my favorite vegan spot. I have been just loving this spot so much. If you're in the Nashville area, you must try this. Try the barbecue bowl. Even if you're not vegan, you got to try it. It's so good. So I want two um, barbecue bowls to go. Yes. Both. Half and half. Thank you, Lord, for having at this point y'all i think i've been to this spot like four times and i've gotten the same thing every time it's just so good to me it is so good and i always get double greens and it lasts me two or three meals so good like i wouldn't eat, i don't know the combination is very interesting the combination is so interesting i personally would have never put it together but it's so good. Hey y'all, so we are grilling today. It's Friday. This is the last time I plan on ever cooking pork, y'all. Oh my God, and the only reason why I'm cooking it this time is because I already had it in the refrigerator before I went on this whole meat thing. So like I told you, I'm trying to get um, pork out of my diet first and then we'll focus on chicken later. So we're gonna grill like we normally grill and I'll show y'all after I get everything set up, I'll show y'all everything and we're gonna get the cooking by the end of the night. I'm gonna be tipsy and all of that. I pretty it's like four o'clock. I I ate the rest of my vegan um food, so I'm probably not gonna eat no more to be honest. Probably have a couple of drinks while I grill and I'm going to bed. I have no appetite now. It's already four o'clock, so I already know what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness, you um we have an option to pause the camera now and start instead of starting over a new video. I love that. Go ahead, Apple. Okay, then. Yeah, it's Sunday, and I need a little bit of retail therapy. I haven't been in Target, actually, since the last time we vlogged. And it might not have seen that long ago, but it's probably actually about three Three, four weeks ago. I don't see anything in this section that's popping out at me. I really like this Future Cat um, Lection. I like a lot of their pieces. I don't need no more clothes, Lord help me. Gotta look at the clearance though, just in case they got a couple of workout shirts or something like that I can get for two or three dollars. Like me a good shimmer now. <laughs> I do like me a good shimmer. I 
feel like my target say they just don't give a damn about the clothing section because it's always trashed back there. Make me feel like I'm in Walmart. See, so you got two displays. I love that. So this is three displays. I know that's right. This all twenty four dollars, and I don't know about that. Twenty four dollars. I don't know. Twenty four dollars. It's so small, y'all. Oh, I don't know about this one. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Well, this is a little vegan spot. It's called Veganish, Veg Veggielish. Lord have mercy. So this is a little vegan spot. It's called Veggielish, and when I tell you, their food is so good. Oh my goodness. So I went back to this spot, y'all. This is my second favorite vegan spot. It's called um, Veggielish in Nashville. Um, they come in second because I don't like their barbecue yeah, meat. It's nice. like a harder texture. Oh um, I, I don't know. I don't like it. So but steamy. other than that, oh, their food so is steamy. so good. Their yams are good. I really don't eat yams like that. But they are so good. Like, this food really did surprise me. Travis Kelsey. So tell me why I'm in Sally's and CD's boxes, y'all, and I'm just too tickled. <laughs> Leg it. So y'all, we are in a cold plunge sauna. This has, what is this? I think that's a shower, a sauna, um, a cold plunge, and he is about to do his cold plunge, y'all. It's cold. Is it? It's cold. Ooh. It's cold. It's cold. It's only 50 degrees, but it's it feels cold. way colder than cold. that. That's why I said that don't seem cold. He's like, just wait. Yeah, wait. <laughs> wait. All right, y'all. You ready? And how long you got this for? An hour? Yeah, I ain't been doing that for three minutes. <laughs> I ain't been doing that. I'm going to try to do it as long as I can, though. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready where you are. Here goes that thing. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's how you were supposed to do it. So I'm probably gonna come back um, in probably a week or so and do the, um, what is it? Sauna. The sauna, cause I'm really interested in that. So that might be this vlog or the next one. This spot is called Pure Sweat Float Studio and it is gorgeous. It is beautiful, beautiful. Huh? I do, uh, in five minutes. Why he all in my business? I got a meeting in five minutes, y'all. So, I wanted to pop in because we just left that um, cold plunge place. And they had these buy to get one free and they were $5 each. So, I picked up Super Greens. 
And he said, which I don't believe, but he said this is the equivalency of, what he you say, 10 servings of broccoli? I guess. Yeah, in this little pack. It could be true. I don't know. But I'm always trying to get my vitamins. So if that's that many servings of broccoli, I'm going to take that first. And I also got this. Well, I got two of them. And then I also got this. This is Support Daily Detox. Which supposed to be black charcoal. I'll take that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to take this one. So let's give it a try. He said it's really good. This has, of course, chlorophyll in it. And it is citrus lime. Um, I'll tell y'all some of the nutrition facts. Eight carbs. Which is interesting. Hmm. Um, no sugar. It doesn't even show it has fiber. So I'm confused by that. I'm confused. The problem might be some milk. Mm. Might be a natural stuff in the Maybe. Well, that won't make sense. You know, that fiber is natural as you get out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've had to Google. Mm. 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 It's like a if y'all see, it puts you in the mindset of Gogur, but it also has a medicine, medicine feel to it. Yeah. I would put this on some food or put it in some drink or something if I take it again. So, anyway, I'll let y'all know if I notice any type of difference in my body going to the bathroom in the next 24 hours after taking this. And I'll let y'all know about this one too. So anyway, all right, I got a meeting. Talk to y'all later. <laughs> I haven't cleaned this thing in a long time. So let's clean. Let me zoom out a bit. Y'all might not see it, but when I tell y'all this refrigerator looks 100% better, oh my goodness, it does. It does. I, I don't know if y'all, well, y'all probably have noticed, but my boo has a sweet tooth. So I have been learning, you know, as we moved into here, I have just been learning to like downsize him. So normally I would buy him something like this. Um, in a size like this, but I've been buying this recently and little popsicles and things like that to kind of, you know, cut out a little bit of the sugar. Um, but anyway, y'all, this is, this is the freezer. Like, I don't see how people have nothing but like little storage in their refrigerator. Yeah, I could do a little bit of the storage, but real talk, <laughs> no, um, I cook almost every day, y'all, so I utilize the refrigerator. Um, yeah, so this is most of the things that we, you know, grab every day, sauces, dressings. And then over here is, our, you know, the um, quick stuff that I want to cook, um, you know, ground beefs, um, box foods. And then I have a freezer in the garage where it's all of the meat. Um so yeah, y'all probably won't see any pork. And if there is, I don't know about it. So I've been trying to get pork out of my diet, as y'all know. So, so yeah. I don't want to do too much, y'all. But my job outdoors area is a vibe. It is a complete vibe. I can't, I'm, not, I'm like on a rooftop. We have a rooftop at work, y'all. I can't really show y'all because then everybody know where I work. <laughs> There's signage everywhere. But I want to flip because this pissed me off. Y'all, I came out here to smell the snake plants. Tell me why the fuck everyone on plastic? Outdoors. Outdoors, how you got fake snake plants outdoors but real inside, y'all? I'm gonna show y'all the real ones inside, it's ridiculous. I'm not gonna hold y'all, it is so cool. Like, it's like a golf course. Like, it's restaurants out around. Like, I'm standing here and I can just smell the steaks cooking. 
I love this place. I might have to move closer to Nashville. This is a piece of art at work. It's so pretty. I'm back from the office and um, it's Friday and I don't think we're doing anything considering that I had to go to Nashville already today. I don't want to go back down there. Um, so I don't, we're probably not, I'm probably not going to do anything. He has some things planned. Some people asked him to be in a video or whatever. My boo handsome, y'all. They asked him to be in a video. Um, so yeah. So anyway, that's happening for him later, but I'm probably just going to be chilling at the house. I might go outside and, um, I plant some stuff, but, um, or repot, but, um, that's about it. I still haven't eaten the rest of my vegan. And I did want to really quick pick, um, conclude this topic. Cause I kind of got a vibe. I kind of, I kind of know what a couple of people are going to say about what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. I would say this, um, for people that have, have, I will say this, my content has changed, but it has only completely changed over the, I want to say, um, since I've been back, right? I have been vlogging for a very long time. Um, I did pivot from focusing on my, just my weight loss a while ago, but again, years and years before that, my growth wasn't growing. Okay. So it's not about like my content changing or anything, because honestly, I feel like my content is pretty much the same. I've always did like story times or, you know, I did pivot at one point onto vlogs, which was years and years ago. Um, vlogs and then of course my weight loss. Now I don't post as much weight loss content as far as like singular videos, right? Because no matter what any of y'all say, those videos do not get clicked on like that. Okay. Honestly, most of the videos, when I do post most of the videos that get hit is my vlogs. Um, so I do understand that this is a weight loss channel and I'm still going to pump out the weight loss content. Uh, but it will, a lot of it will be in vlogs. A lot of it will be in shorts and things like that. Um, I did take a poll on my channel as y'all saw and my audience wants vlogs. So, um, you know, for anyone out there that's thinking because I'm not completely focused on weight loss, that's the reason. No, <laughs> it's not. Um, again, it's been like seven to 10 years, um, that I haven't seen much growth and yeah, so that's just that. I don't know if it's because I've just been here for so long because I've seen weight loss channels that that has content, right? And they might have started their channel in 2020 and they have a hundred, a million subscribers, a hundred thousand subscribers. And that's just so confusing to me because they haven't done nowhere near as much content as I have done before and after videos, um, all of that. So I just don't understand why YouTube is so quick to push certain videos. Also, I want to say this and I might correct myself on this. I don't think I've ever had a video on YouTube hit more than 500,000, which is crazy, right? Um, my before and after something that people love to see before and after videos, none of that. So anyway, um, I can't say I'll never talk about this topic again, but I won't talk about it anytime soon. <laughs> I'll just, just be over here and boo. And I did want to say, I did want to say this too, before I leave this, um, like I was telling y'all, my, other was like, you know, maybe I need to try a different platform. And, you know, I was thinking about that, but I, I, I was also thinking like, I was looking at channels, like, for example, a channel that I love, I'm not a lawyer, but she has like a million subscribers on TikTok. She has maybe like 30,000 or something on YouTube, and she posts the same content on both channels. So, um... When I saw that, I was like, yeah, maybe it is, you know, about time for me to try other platforms. So we'll see how that goes. Y'all still have not ate the rest of my food from yesterday. I put it in my little, um, this is actually 
my booze lunch pail, but I put my food in here to keep it cool. And um, it's still cool. Yep, it's still cool. So I have that for dinner later. I was gonna eat that at work and have some wings, but I left work earlier than I thought I would. And also y'all, I have this um, no-bake cookie. Um, this one is vegan. They do sell these at um, Walmart, the no-bake cookies. Um, with the oatmeal, they taste just like the ones at Walmart, but this is, of course, vegan. Mm -hmm. I like that. So that's going to be my dinner tonight, y'all. But then I might not film anything else today. I don't know what this vlog looking like, but I be... That's another thing, y'all. I just be chilling, right? I be wanting to bring y'all exciting stuff. And it's like when I post videos black to back, whether they're shorts back to back. Like if I post two shorts, a vlog, and then another short, at least three of those videos will be overlooked. One of those videos might get like a thousand and plus views and then the rest of them gets under a thousand. So I'll be discouraging from posting back to back as well. But um, I'm trying to stay consistent, y'all. Let me go ahead and film another short real quick. And yeah. Hey, y'all. So I wanted to pop in and um, it is Tuesday and y'all will see this vlog today. So this is kind of a typical like week and a half for me, y'all. I feel like because I work from home and I'm not like a, um, like social media isn't like my life in the sense that I'm not an influencer really. I feel like I don't be doing that so much because I be at home working, girl. So I don't know. Um, but anyway, I did want to show y'all a little haul. I have no idea what's in this box, y'all. I haven't really been ordering much. Um, I've been, I guess I've just been trying to save money or we've been trying to save money because after we calculated for wedding and house and all of that, y'all, my God. Like the fence alone, all of that, like I've kind of pushed it back, but not really. It's going to get done in the next couple of months. But like that starting off is like 15 thousand dollars and i'm just like my god then of course i still haven't put the shower door on i want to do the pantry like everything it's probably going to take us about a year to get everything done you know hustling and you know doing whatever we need to do to get out get um this house the way we want it to be um and honestly y'all again this is probably not my favorite home. Um, i'll probably be here another two three years but I feel like all the enhancements that um, we plan on doing will only help the um, profit of the house. So, or the worth, it'll bring up the worth of the house. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm really, really excited about that. I can't wait. I'm going to put some of it on this channel, but a lot of it is going to go on the other channel that I that I created. Oh, this is a coach. So this is a coach order. I completely forgot about this order, just like I completely forgot about a Steve Madden. Y'all remember a couple of vlogs back, I told y'all Steve Madden was missing some stuff. It popped up yesterday. And I was like, what is going on? I saw it must have been on back or it was just like a little um a little purse nothing nothing too outlandish oh my goodness did i tell y'all my mommy's getting married i don't know if i told y'all that um so let me i want to i want to kind of talk about that real quick um but before we do before i go into that topic i want to show y'all what i purchased so coach did have a sale on their shoes these shoes in particular and i thought they were so cute we're going into um i guess what winter and a lot of stores are getting rid of stuff that was for fall or spring summer whatever and i love this i love the coach detailing right here i love this shoe so much and these are not um fake you know how they be 
have the fake ones on these are real so I can widen them if I want to so I love them and I think I got them in two different colors I think because how often am I gonna wear a bright pink shoe like that and I got them in orange and I can rock this with so many different things so many different colors blacks browns greens I can rock these with so many it's the same exact shoe just a different um, color scheme. So I really, really, really like that. I really like that. Y'all know I am a coach girl. I'm part of all the little um, coach Facebook groups and all of that. And also, y'all, this is how I be at the house. So a lot of times I'm sure y'all be looking at my, and this is a conversation I was having between a another a girl and a guy friend and they was telling me that a lot of times a lot of sex sales beauty sales and you know they were saying that a lot of times people click on vlogs and click on videos just because the person is attractive or just because they have a beat face or, you know, the wigs, the whole nine yards. And I get that too, because baby, I be on these vlogs bumming, okay? I know I can't have the time. This is how I be. Like, I'm finna go downstairs. I, um, we just left the gym. Well, not just, it's been probably about an hour. So we left the gym. I came home, took a shower. Here I am in a sports bra, some um, pants, and a robe. This is probably how I'm going to be for the rest of the day because I'm finna log in. I got meetings and everything. I got work to do. So I'm going to be snuggled up in front of my heater on the couch working. And that's all that I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Um, I did fast yesterday, so I'm probably going to break my fast today. Um, also, I wanted to say, if you have not, because I know some people miss shorts, if you have not, please go to my channel, check out some shorts. Um, I will continue to post the shorts, even if they do not get hit. I hope, you know, they catch up. I will continue to post the shorts. I love giving food ideas and things like that, whether you like snacking or not. I feel like what really helped my journey was meeting those cravings, like, especially when you're first starting out, everybody will not snack. Some people don't snack, but some people be needing those ideas. Um, so I'm here to give them ideas. Whether one or two people click on it, it is what it is. I have one that I need to film the last like couple seconds of, but I have a short coming this week, probably two shorts coming this week. So this video and two shorts um, will be posted this week. Um, yeah, and also, this I don't know, like, I hesitate to give away vitamins and stuff when they negatively affect me, but there's no recall, there's no nothing like that on these vitamins, um, so I'm sure they will be fine for somewhere. I don't know, what do y'all suggest I do with these? Is there somewhere I can send them, or do y'all suggest that I just trash them? What do y'all, what do y'all think? So I do have another topic really, really quickly. Um, so my mommy is getting married and I am so, so, so happy for her. Of course she's happy, she's in love and all of that. But when I talk to her, sometimes I get the feeling that she's a bit embarrassed to be getting married. My mom is 25 years older than me. And I feel like she feels embarrassed to be getting married at her age. And I feel like little comments people have made here and there is kind of stealing that joy of marriage from her. And, you know, I was talking to her and I hope that I made it an impact. I think I did by her response, you know. Um, you know, just explaining to her that love comes at all ages. It doesn't matter how old you are. Um, and you know, I was explaining to her, you're not even like the whole, you're, you're talking like you're the oldest person that's ever gotten married. Like there's a couple, and I think they went viral yet last year. Um, they were like over a hundred getting married. Like, I know this is like 40 years older than her, but still, um, I don't know. I just want to know, do y'all, or, or y'all, have any of y'all gotten married older? How did y'all feel about that? Do y'all know anyone in y'all family? Um, how did they feel about that? 
I just hate that she feels that way because it doesn't matter how old you are. Everybody deserves happiness. And sometimes we might feel like that we found that person at 20 and 30 and we spent 20, 30 years with them and then bang, we're single for a couple of years and then we meet someone else and the love is so amazing that you've never felt this way before and you're like, oh my God, I'm in love for the first time. Like that happens all the time and I don't know. I wanna know what y'all think about getting married older um, yeah. So right now my mom is in Township. Is that a place? I don't know. I have to look on 360, but she's in New York. Y'all know we travel a lot over here, but my sister is in fact a traveling nurse and my mom travels with her sometime just to see the world because my sister be everywhere just like me. Um, so she's in New York right now and that's me on FaceTime. I ain't getting no good, good pictures of those on FaceTime. When I tell y'all, that, um, is it halt the top? Yeah, halt the top style dress, the first dress when my sister called me on FaceTime, y'all. I felt like a proud mother. I don't know how it goes, how that happened. But when I tell y'all, I, when I tell y'all, when I saw her in that dress, I about cried. I about cried. I had to keep my composure. I had to keep my composure. So, of course, of course, this is her time. So, I will vlog as much as possible. I do plan on going to um, Alabama between now and her wedding twice to help her out. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if I'm able to keep my composure, y'all. So I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit of that. But of course, that's her time, so I'm not gonna do too much. But I'm like, <laughs> my mom getting married. It's crazy. I love it. So thank y'all so 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 very much for watching. I do have this already edited. I'm gonna add this on, and this should be out in the next couple of hours. So probably about two o'clock. As long as YouTube doesn't flag the video for nothing, it should be out by two o'clock. And again, thank y'all so very much for the support. Please check out my channel and check out some of the shorts. Um, especially if you're on a weight loss journey, most of my shorts will be targeted um weight loss for sure. They're like that is the main purpose of those shorts, showing y'all a day in my life, what I do, what I eat, big back snacks, unbig your back snacks, all of that will be posted in shorts. So, yeah. Love y'all. You're right right here, man.